If you're looking to take the trading game to the next level, MEXC is your answer. First, we'll guide you on how to transfer funds seamlessly from another exchange to MEXC. Next, we'll explore key features on MEXC's futures account. We'll also be unveiling additional insights and pro tips that will enhance your trading strategies on Mexi's exchange. Before we get started right now, make a Mexi account with the Crypto Revolution Mexi link in the description. This will give you access to special bonuses and reduced trading fees. Now, before we get started, let's go ahead and add some funds to our Mexi account. We're going to come over here to Wallet. We're going to go to Overview. And then we're going to select Deposit. We're going to transfer over USDT, and the network we're going to use is the Tron network, which is TRX. It is the TRC20 network. This has the lowest fees. Then now all you do is come over here to this copy button. You're going, to, you're going to click it. It's going to save it to your clipboard. And right now we're logged into one of our KuCoin accounts. We're going to come over here to Assets, and we're going to click in this blank space. And then we're going to go ahead and select Withdrawal. And then for our coin, we're going to click in here and then type USDT. Once we've selected our coin, we're going to paste our wallet address and then we're going to select the network by clicking this drop down menu and do TRX. And once it's selected, we're going to confirm this. And right now, for this, available balance is zero. This is in the main account of KuCoin. We're going to go ahead and transfer over to our trading account. We can just select this one. We're going to put our amount that we want here. I'm going to go ahead and just do all. And then now go ahead and hit withdrawal and then just follow the prompts. And now our transfer is complete. We can transfer from this page by clicking on transfer, going from spot to futures, and then you can put the amount you want to put for your futures account. But we're going to show you a different way as well. Now, a really nice feature that Mexi has is if you come over here to futures, you can actually do a demo trading account. That way you can click on buttons and not worry about losing your money. Now, let's go ahead and explore demo trading before we go into the futures trading. So let's go over here to demo trading. So if this is your first time using the demo trading account, if you come over here to the bottom right hand corner, you'll see where you can receive demo coins. You click on this, you're going to have a pop up window come here and then you just accept it. And then it gives you some demo coins that we can just see what each of these buttons are. Now, one thing I want to point out on the demo account is if you come over here and just hover over this drop down menu, you're going to see what you can trade. There's not a large selection. So you come over here to this and there's only two for the m this is when you can trade using the usdt pairs now let's switch over to the live trading and if you want to go back to the demo trading all you do is hover over this and you can come back to the demo trading so we're now we're in the live trading and now that we transferred money into this mexi account that we use for videos the money is available in our trading platform so now what we want to do is we want to transfer it over to our leverage trading platform now we're going to come over here to this double arrow. We're going to click on this so that we can transfer our crypto. So now what we're going to do is we're going to transfer over $100. And it's recommended when you're first starting out, only transfer over $100. As the saying goes, if you can't double $100, you have no business trading with more than that. So let's go ahead and confirm this. So now our available balance is $103. So at the current moment, we don't have any positions open. Now let's look for a trade. All you got to do is come over here to this drop down menu. We do have several sections here. We have favorites, we have meme, we have a bunch of different categories. Some very important factors that I want to point out. One, always be on isolated. If you click on this, it'll tell you the difference. Of course, you can read this, but always be on isolated. Next, when it comes to leverage, as tempting as it is, use very low leverage. I would recommend between 2 and 3x leverage. Now, the more wins that you get, it may be very tempting to go to 25, 40, and so on. But as fast as you can make the money, you can also lose it. So it is a very important to manage your risk. So for this trade, we're just going to do a 5x leverage. But as beginners, I strongly recommend 2 to 3x leverage. Go ahead and confirm this. So now you can see we are at 5x leverage on isolated. Right now we are on the one hour time frame using trading view because this gives us more options for tools. So right now I'm looking for a scalp trade, just real quick in and out. We do see some selling pressure here. I am on the 15 minute. And uh, what I wanted to see if it breaks below this level for me to enter. Now, once I enter, 
of course it's going to be isolated 5x leverage of course i'll have my price here which you can just click on the numbers and it automatically changes so once i'll click this number and then i'll put the dollar amount so here it has the quantity of cody how many do i want so if i were to say 50 this equals three dollars and 33 cents so i don't want to do the math on how much this is versus how much cody i'm going to get for my price so all you have to do is come over here to this drop down menu click on the drop down go to usdt so now let's say i wanted to trade 50 dollars worth it automatically types in or calculates how much cody that would be so right now the quantity is in usdt you can also slide this slider as well uh, to adjust this so let's bring this back to cody confirm so if we were to slide this it would do the amount percentages and also the amount of cody but just to make it simple let's go to usdt and let's type in our amount fifty dollars and right now i'm going to a larger time frame that way i can chart it out real quick so let's go ahead and enter a short so i do have my price up here i have the amount of dollars that i want i'll come over here to take profit and stop loss now for my take profit i come over here for my tools i'm gonna go to the horizontal array for my take profit i want it about right here and then for my stop loss i want it about right here so for my take profit it's going to be this number down here because i'm going to do a short and so let's just type that in and then for my stop loss we have that in the orange up here so i'm just going to type this in and then now to submit the order we're just going to do submit to short so open the short going to confirm this information if you don't want this popping up every single time just click this button right here so let's go ahead and confirm it so now you can see i have opened a short this is my short right here i'm not in the trade yet we do have an open order right here we have our open position so once this order gets filled it'll move from the open orders to our open position right now we're waiting to see the price action come up fill our order and when it does it'll automatically have our stop loss and take profit so let, let's enter another trade so for this trade we're going to go, go ahead and open a long so for the amount on this one let's go ahead and put 25 dollars and open a long and this time we're not going to do the take profit and stop loss not yet so i'm going to put this just a little bit lower we're going to do open long confirm it so now i have my bid a little bit lower than the actual current price and let's see if it hits it now the benefit of using the open long or open short without doing your stop loss or take profit is that the few seconds that it takes to do this you'll be saving that and hopefully get into the order or trade just that much faster so right now we are in bin now the downfall of doing just the open or the short without doing your take profit or stop loss is this can come down pretty quick and now you're at a loss so right now we are at 10x leverage and let's go ahead and do our stop loss we're going to do our stop loss right around here and we're going to do our take profit right around here now once you click on add stop loss and take profit it blocks your view so what i recommend doing is just coming over here and just typing in the information you need so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this and go ahead and paste it and my target is going to be 255 and that way you don't type in wrong numbers so 207 now i'm going to come over here to take profit and stop loss going to be 55 and then this one over here is going to be 207 and now we're going to go ahead and confirm this now our liquidation price is 204 so if you did not have a stop loss once it hits 204 the amount of money you put in which was about 25 dollars 23 dollars this will go to zero one thing you want to pay attention to is when you change this to a different token be aware of this the leverage so make sure to always have it low leverage here i do have mine at 10x but it's best to have it between 2 and 4x leverage sometimes 2 and 3 depending on your skill set now if you want to share your current standings on your trade you can come over here to this little button once you click it it'll generate your current standings now here it just has the percentage but if you wanted the profit and loss amount you can have it right here too 
But most people, they just have this, where it has a percentage. And then if you wanted to download the GIF, you can download this, or just the image, or you can just screenshot the area you want to screenshot. Then to get rid of this, all you do is you click away from it. Now you can also change the backgrounds by clicking either this button or this button. And then to exit out of this, all you do is you click out of the box. And right now it's showing, before it was gray, and now it's showing orange. Now while we're waiting on this trade, we can easily move up our stop loss. So our current stop loss is at 207. We can click right here and grab it and go a little bit higher. And now it updates and our stop loss is right here. Same thing with our target. We can lower our target. So now it's at 241, or we can raise our target. And now it's at 263. This makes it extremely convenient and very fast to move up your stop loss and your take profit area. And if you wanted to close a certain position of your trade, that way you can take some profit. Let's go to 222. So let's go ahead and type in 222. Let's copy this, copy, and let's go ahead and paste it into the price. Once you click on here, you can say how much do you want and i want 50 percent i'm going to say close long i'm going to confirm it and now we closed out 50 percent so now let's get our stop loss and move it up to right here 218 so if the price does come down at least we're in profit and again if you want to share this all you got to do is click this it will generate your profit and then you can save this to your computer and that we can share it on your social sites if you like now let's go ahead and see our open orders that we have. So this one still hasn't hit yet. So let's go ahead and cancel this one by clicking on revoke. And now let's go back to our open orders and let's go ahead and move up our stop loss. Now, when you click on open orders, we do have one, which is the current one that we're on. And the reason it's an open order is because we have a take profit and stop loss. If we wanted to cancel both, all we have to do is click on revoke. And it'll cancel both of these, or we could adjust it by clicking on the edit but right now we're going back to the open position and then you can also hover over some of these and it gives you additional tips so the way you change your settings is just come over here to chart settings then you can go to symbol you can change the colors of your candle bodies and wicks also you can come over here to appearance and change the color and from white to black or whatever color you like same thing with the grid lines i put these in black as well and then here are some other options. One thing that I strongly recommend is always have no overlapping and also count down to bar close. And once you're done, you can click OK. So I'm going to change this moving average color, change it to white, increase the opacity, and the length is 9. Click OK. Now, an important thing to notice right now we're on 5x leverage. If we use $100 for the margin, which is actually what we're trading with, it's only going to be roughly around $20. But if we were to increase this to $500, then for our actual amount that we're using would be right around $100. Now, another great feature on MEXC, right now, this is our opening position. This is our lower bid. If we wanted to, we could get this and move it slightly up. And then we can read this and say, OK. And now this is our position that we're waiting to get filled. So we did come down, filled our order. So it was right around $100 for the margin. And you can see here, our margin is $100. Our position is $505. And if we hover over margin, it says it measures the risk of the user's position. The lower the margin ratio, the less risky the positions will be. When the margin ratio reaches 100%, your positions will be forced liquidated. And that means all of your money goes to zero now if we were to flash close this is going to close it at market sell now if we notice the price action reaching the resistance level and unable to break through it what we can do is we can hit this reverse button it'll market sell our long and market buy a short because it's going to reverse our position and if you ever want to check the amount you'll make at this stop loss all you have to do is come over here to your stop loss go to the edit button and right now we would make $18 at our current position. Now, an important thing to understand is when you increase your leverage, the liquidation price will change. So if we had a 20X leverage or higher, 
you'll notice that the liquidation price is really close to your entry price. And that's why it's safer to use lower leverage, 3x, 2x. Our next video is going to be five tips every leverage trader must know. If you like the content provided, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment in the comment box. We'll see you on the next video. Right now, make a Mexi account with the Crypto Revolution Mexi link in the description. This will give you access to special bonuses and reduced trading fees.